What's up, YouTube? What's going on, people? You think oh. that's so funny when I say that every time? <laughs> oh, out here feeding some chickens. It's time for that video, finally. <gasps> Just throwing these guys some uh, scraps from dinner. So today, we're finally gonna show you guys the new chicken coop that I've been working on. Been working on it for a couple months now also, cause obviously your boy doesn't have all the days off in the world. So I can only really work on it when I have time. But I had several friends come over and help me. My buddy Jess came over, helped me build it from the start. Jess was here for the first couple days, setting all the posts, putting the roof on, all that other stuff. My buddy Josh helped me build this shed that this company called Patio Well sent me a few months ago. Sorry for the wait, guys. I've just been trying to make this super awesome. So today, we're finally gonna do a little walkthrough of our new awesome chicken coop. I'm gonna show you the shed. It's really cool, guys. I did a lot of research online before building this chicken coop. Oh, man, Carolina Coops. Go, uh, go check that out when you're done with this video. Those guys over there really know how to build chicken coops. And I would honestly love to have them come out and do a collaboration video with them eventually. Have them build me another chicken coop on the other side of the property by my daughter's room because she loves, I love looking at my daughter's room and seeing all the birds and stuff. It's awesome and she, she loves it too. So let's get to it and show you guys what we got going on over here. So check it out. This whole area is gonna be for the chickens. And look, you see the boys over here? Let me show you this real fast. They're finishing up the game fence right now because the cow comes soon. But yeah, dude, check this out real fast before we get into this video. Just a little, just a little quick, sneaky, peeky. Ooh, look at that. Real freaking nice. So back to what we're here for. So this is just a little temporary fence. Eventually, we're gonna set up a game fence just like this for this entire area. We're gonna run it along my little driveway thing and put it, end it over here and go straight to the, uh, go straight to the other game fence that separates my property from Bill's property. Check this thing out. The fluffy butt hut. Oh, I love that sign. So this is what we got going on, guys. So these four by fours, we cemented into the ground, okay? All the sides, all right? Dug out two feet from the edge. We put chicken wire all down here so it's escape proof. No animals can dig in underneath the chicken coop and get in and kill all of our chickens. So that is super smart. We did that around the whole edge of it. So there's chicken wire around the entire edge of this thing, which makes it super, super secure. We did this nice like dark stain, which I think just makes it look beautiful. It was just that, it just didn't look right with that treated wood, you know? We wanted to make this look really nice. Added these little solar panel lights. Everything on this is all solar panel. See, we got a solar panel right here for all these little guys. And then there's another solar panel on the other side. So we got our latches right here. We used this black PVC coated chicken wire because it just looks great and it's very transparent. When you're looking at it from the outside, you almost can't even see the chicken wire. You just see straight through the coop, which is great. So we got two little latches right here. They're also lockable, okay? So everything is still all overgrown right now. This area hasn't been mowed in a few weeks, but that's gonna be great because once we move all the chickens here later on in this video, they're gonna be able to forage and get all the bugs and do all their little chicken things. It's gonna be sweet. So we got the chicken feeder right here. This one, we're probably gonna add a couple more feeders in here because we have like 35 freaking chickens. We just got that hanging from the top so that way it's nice and secure. They can't really knock this thing over. And then this is one of my favorite features about this chicken coop. So I got this thing on Amazon and I'll try to put all the links down below for you guys. These are these little chicken cups, okay? The chickens push the cups down like this and they fill up with water, which is freaking awesome. So that way they always have a water source. And my favorite part about this is check this out here. Let's go walk around the other side, show you guys what I did. So look. Over here, we got a gutter system. I also got this idea from Carolina Coops, which is just such a genius idea. So we put a gutter on the back of the chicken coop and I have it running down into the barrel. So that way when it rains, dude, I don't have to come out here all the time and fill this freaking water jug up. It just automatically fills up all the time. 
when we get rain, obviously. During the dry months, I'm probably gonna have to come out here and do it myself. Got another solar panel up here that controls these LED lights. I also got off of Amazon, check these out. So these lights right here are hooked up to that bigger solar panel that I just showed you guys. So this provides, these things are so freaking bright. It lights up this whole area at night. You can see everything, maintenance it at night, check on the animals, make sure everybody's doing good. And then this is the shed that I got from Patio Well. Shout out to these guys. I will put a link down below for that. This little uh, chicken door right here, I also got off of Amazon, which is freaking awesome. Just gotta hide these cords a little bit better. I haven't really finished that yet. Same thing with this. This is also solar powered. There's a little solar panel up on the top of this roof right here. Powered by the sun, you don't have to change out any batteries. There's two different settings on it. You can do a timer, so you can time it. If you don't want your uh, chicken coop opening up so early in the morning or closing too late at night, you can set a timer and adjust it however you want, or you can just use it on the light cycle, which is what I do. So when the sun comes up, it opens up. When the sun comes down, it goes down. And this is the shed that I got from Patio Well. It's an eight by eight shed. Pretty sure it's like six feet tall. This is just a little tiny window that I also ordered on Amazon and got. I got a couple of them. I'm not sure if I want to install another one. This one's going to do fine for now. I just wanted to make sure this thing had good ventilation. There's these also, there's these vents up here that, you know, provide, provide a little bit of ventilation. Nothing too crazy. And then the back side of this thing, I don't have a window because we have the roosts right here in this section. So let's check out the inside of this shit and how I set it up. Ooh, check this out. So these are just some lay boxes I also got on Amazon and it's really cool because it's got a double R on it. Rider's Ranch, didn't even plan for that to happen. And then this is the roost for them. It's also secured to the side of the shed. So that way this thing is, bro, not going anywhere. Super, super sturdy. You can easily have 30 chickens sleeping on this. And then for the substrate, another idea that I got from Carolina Coops. I learned a lot on that channel, actually. You guys should go check it out. It's got a lot of really helpful information. This is hemp bedding, and it's a deep litter bedding. And now the whole point of doing this hemp deep litter is that you don't have to change it out very often and not clean your hen house for like a year at a time. It's pretty crazy. I'm gonna test it out and I'll obviously do some update videos and let you know how this deep litter situation is going. I even put a little two by four right here so that way I can make sure we got at least four or five inches of this hemp bedding. I'm pretty sure this is like six bags of hemp bedding that I bought on Amazon. Dude, Amazon is the best. Got that on there too. So freaking cool. The shed is awesome. So instead of doing like your typical wooden hen house, this company hit me up and they're like, hey, you guys want a shed? And I was like, oh, I don't really have a use for a shed right now. And I was like, oh yeah, the chicken coop. This is gonna work perfect for the hen house. And it does. Not only is it super functional, but it aesthetically looks great. Like, dude, this chicken coop looks awesome, right? Eventually this whole area, when it's gated in, my buddy Spencer's coming out here. We're gonna build a big pond right here for the ducks, the geese. And I have a couple really big eggs in the incubator right now that I'm gonna keep a secret for now, but I'm really, really, really excited about. Birds that I've wanted my entire life, big, beautiful majestic animals the babies are so freaking cute too so stay tuned for that obviously i'm gonna post a video when they're hatching out and that whole deal like i do with everything really pumped to show you guys these eggs that i got i got them on ebay again dude i find so much cool stuff on ebay to hatch out i didn't even know that that was a thing people sell all sorts of eggs and stuff that you could literally just buy on ebay and then incubate them yourself super pumped that this thing is done Oh, another thing that I did that's pretty cool is I hooked up these cameras. So all the cages have cameras on them now. We got these little cameras. I'll put the information for these guys down below as well. They're solar powered. You can hook them up, put them anywhere. As long as your Wi-Fi reaches to it, you're good to go. I can watch. I can, I can see how my chickens are doing in 4K video from my shop while I'm at work, which is super tight. So the main part of this video, obviously I want to show you guys chicken coop, but what we gotta do is we gotta catch up all these freaking chickens now and move them over there, which is gonna be a royal pain in the butt. And this area obviously doesn't just have chickens in it. We got Brady, the goat. We got we got Lorenzo and his two girlfriends. We got Ben and J-Lo over here. We're gonna keep the goat. We're gonna keep the 
we're gonna keep the geese, we're gonna keep the ducks over here because they have their little pools and Gianna just loves hanging out with them during the day. So we're gonna leave these guys over here for now until we build the big pond and then we're gonna move them over with all the other guys. So today, we're just gonna catch up all these little freaking chickens. Hey, we got a turkey out here. The turkeys are probably gonna leave in here also because the turkeys love these trees and at night they perch all the way up in the trees and they sleep up there, it's really cool. So, what, you ready to catch some chickens? Careful, don't step on turkeys. Yeah. Ready to catch these things up? This is gonna be hard. And then see, look, we got another camera right here. These things are so sweet with the solar panels. So tight, that way we can keep an eye on these guys all day long and all night. If any funny business happens, we'll have it on video and we'll know what happened. Brady. Hello, dude. How are you doing, sir? You cute little man. Hey, can I get a fist bump? Boom, thanks bro. All right, you ready to catch some chickens? Got the Crocs in four by four mode? I don't know why you Four by four. Yeah, that's how it is. Brady, what are you doing, dude? All right, so start catching them things up. This is gonna be really hard to do. Come here. Hello, chicken. Come here, chickens. Come here. I need to catch you. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh, so you got a, uh, what is that, a Rhode Island Red? Looking really cute. Nice, nice. All right, let's move them over. Two at a time. We said we're gonna have a lot of poop on us? Yeah, they might poop on us. It's all right though. And then we got the mystery chickens. I love these freaking chickens, guys. Look at how awesome these are. They're so cool. Yeah, look at these big old feet, dude. Holy crap. They're beautiful though. Like, look at the colors on these chickens. I love these freaking things. And I call these guys mystery chickens because those red phoenixes that we ordered a while ago, or no, I'm sorry, the black-breasted phoenixes that we ordered, these guys came as extra chickens in the order. Listen to this story, how funny is this? So they sent us a bunch of extra chickens, okay? Had no idea what they were, and they didn't tell us what they were, so I emailed the company about it, all right? And the company literally told me, they're like, oh, that's weird, we don't send out extra chickens. The post office must have opened up your box and put chickens in the box for you. I was like, are you serious? You're literally gonna tell me. The company that I got these chickens from, which are a very highly recommended, great, huge company online. It's probably like one of the first ones that you, it's one of the first hatcheries that actually comes up on Google. Big hatchery, I forget what the heck it is called. Regardless, they literally, this company told me that they don't even have these chickens on their property and that the post office must have saw that I had chickens, opened up my box and put these guys in there. How weird is that? So strange. All right, you ready to release them? Let's put these guys down. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hey, Richard, you stop it. Richard, relax, dude. These are not for you, Rich. All right. Two down. 30 more to go. I got some mealworms. Smart. Try to... This is the Rhode Island Red. And this is another mystery chicken. Yeah. Alright, so we got four. Let's go. Let's put them over. Oh, oh, shit. Ah, come here. God, they're so fast. Dang, you're quick. You can't see. Oh, hello, fluffy thing. Oh, my God. They're so fast. Come here, chickens. Oh, yeah, there we go. Trapped. You guys are trapped. Come here. Come here. All right, so this is the Easter egg. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. Look, this is not easy. Catching chickens. Oh, it's a workout. All right. Cute chicken. I love these freaking chickens. They're so pretty. And they all look different, too. He keeps puffing up at me. So far, we got eight of these uh, mother cluckers over here. Oh, 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 you're so close. Oh, you're so close. Oh, you got them. Yes. Oh, man. They're hard to catch. That's Kanye? No. 
Can I knock on you? Oh, wow, yeah, look at that. That's super pretty. So cool. I've never even seen that. You I love these guys. Them. They're so fluffy and cute. Oh, I think we're All right. Yeah. yeah, you should go put some shorts on, crazy lady. I'm hot out here in shorts. Gee. All right. Oh, there's a chicken right there. Two at a time. Look at these fluffy, cute guys. I think this one's a rooster right here, the black one. And then this is, uh, I'm not really sure. You got poop on your hands? Dirty job out here. All right, let's go put these guys over here. I think we got, pretty sure we got like 35 chickens. 30 something. We're doing a count right now. These are those black breasted phoenixes that we got that I was saying that came with those mystery chickens. Look how beautiful these chickens are. Especially in the sunlight. So freaking pretty, right? Look at that. And then this silky right here is like a hybrid. You see how he's not all fluff? He kind of has like regular feathers and they're colored. They're so cute. They're fluffy little heads. Super, super soft too. And then this little guy right here is an Easter egger that was a gift. My buddy Wayne actually brought over two Easter eggers and two sex links, I think that they're called. Not really sure what they look like when they grow up. They're like, more of like a red chicken, which is what Gianna's trying to catch right now. But these Easter eggers are really cool because they're the ones that lay all the multicolored eggs. And this is one of our Jersey Giants. There's two of them. These guys are going to get a lot bigger. All these guys, none of them are really mature yet. They're getting there though. They're only a few months old. So we got another Rhode Island Red Gianna's got. And then this is another, this is the only other Jersey Giant. We got two of those. So I think all that's left is Sharon, who's going to be really hard to catch. And then there is one more, uh, see that little guy right there next to the guinea hen? That's another one of those black-breasted phoenix chickens, which are really cool. Those, uh, if you guys haven't seen roosters of them, but they're the ones that have the really, really long tails. Super freaking cool. And then we got this little silky over here. These are uh, those little ones that are being crazy right now. Those are Polish chickens. Those are the ones with the really funny hairdos. Oh, stay in there. And then our peacock. That's our little baby peacock right there. He's getting big. So cute. Oh man. I'm sweating. I can only imagine how hot you are. You got sweatpants on. I'm dying. City city. These guys are so pretty though. I love the gray on this. Like look how beautiful that chicken is. That light gray with like the black outline. So pretty. There's so many kinds of chickens too. This is the coolest part. That's why it's so addicting. Like we got a couple chickens and then we realized that there's like 200 something kinds of colors and morphs and all this other crazy stuff. So they're like Pokemon, you gotta collect them all. You little guy. Well, they have that water inside there, which is plain. Look at this, everybody is loving it. They're all foraging in this nice tall grass. It's probably got plenty of bugs in it. You did good. You're a good chicken catcher. Thanks. Yep. We gotta go get Phoenix one now. One more Look at left. This little spiky hairdo. Yeah, he's cute. And he's so tiny. Like, look how little that chicken is compared to all the other ones. He's like a midget chicken. He has not gotten very big. Like, we've had that chicken as long as some of these bigger ones. Oh, turkeys, the auburn turkeys. Yeah, since the turkeys, the turkeys are getting huge. And this guy's still just a little tiny baby. The last of the chickens. Oh. Another one of these red breasteds. Look how pretty they are. Like, the iridescence on them. Look at that so pretty now you can see their tails are already getting pretty long but dude i'm saying these tails are gonna get like three feet long they're so pretty you are a pretty chicken ready be free looking awesome well that is it my friends i hope you guys appreciated and enjoyed today's video like the new chicken coop hopefully this gave some people some ideas if you guys are looking into making your own chicken coop this should give you a nice little idea of how to do it like I said, Carolina Coops, those guys freaking kill it. Also, Patio Well, thank you guys so much for the shed, putting it to good use. Literally, couldn't have worked out better. I love this freaking thing. It looks great, right? So cool. Well, that is it. We need to go wash all this, uh, all this chicken poop off, take some showers, real sweaty. Trap, Richard! Get out of there, dude. Leave those chickens alone. Until next time, guys. See you later. God bless all your dreams. Love you.